lived in or visited Southwest Florida in 2018 may remember seeing or smelling this. Or maybe this. But why do we have these harmful algal blooms in the first place? And what, if anything, can be done to stop them? That's where a lot of people come in, from government groups, task forces, fishermen, farmers, and all of us, with one common goal, to get to the bottom of Southwest Florida's water crisis. But to understand our water issues, you have to go back to the beginning. The South Florida Water Management District said much of South Florida used to be covered in water as water would slowly flow down from Lake Okeechobee. They said toward the end of the 19th century, draining led to the connection of waterways, like the Caloosahatchee River to Lake Okeechobee. Later on, state and federal leaders straightened the Kissimmee River out as part of a flood control measure. These changes reduced water flow to the Florida Everglades. So today, projects are underway to restore the water flow to the Everglades. But how does all of this connect to Southwest Florida's water quality and quantity concerns? To maintain water levels and salinity in the Caloosahatchee Estuary, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers releases water from Lake Okeechobee. Water is also released to ensure safe water levels on the lake. The problem is this water can be loaded with nutrients from things like fertilizer and septic tanks. In turn, these nutrients can fuel blue-green algae blooms, which can be harmful to humans and animals. Another big issue, red tide. Noah describes it as a microscopic algae that produces toxins that kill fish and make shellfish dangerous to eat. If you've experienced red tide before, you may have noticed it's more difficult to breathe, or maybe you even started coughing. Red tide can also give water a reddish color. While Karenia brevis occurs naturally in our environment, scientists believe its interaction with excessive man-made nutrients can also cause blooms to grow into what we see in Gulf waters. The worst in recent years hit in 2017 and 2018. Southwest Florida also has a host of other water issues impacting our lives and economy fecal bacteria in the water, flooding, and even not having enough water. To overcome these problems, people from all walks of life have come together to try to solve them. From the government and universities, to farmers and fishermen, and everyone in between, it's been an all-hands-on-deck effort to fix our water quality issues in light of this crisis. As water makes up the fabric of Southwest Florida living, Wink News is devoted to getting to the bottom of the problems and helping find solutions, while letting you and your loved ones know what they could mean for your health and future.